I want to introduce you to EVP Universal. It's a strategy I love to trade on the euro currency. It does work well in momentum based markets. The euro has not been as momentum or trend based lately, and so it doesn't uh, work well in that market. Right now, at the moment, EVP, the, the concept ha has not worked as well lately, uh, but it is working in, in strat huge volatility and range in crude oil. So, look at what it's done over the past year. You can see 8590, 1620 drawdown. Here's the equity curve. 84.22 average trade profit. These are without slippage of commission. Uh, soybeans is another another one. Over the past year, it doesn't trade as frequently. 115.44, 16.62, 50 drawdown, 58.87, 50. It's got a profit target and a stop loss. Uh, taking a look at it in the E-mini Russell. Really good results over the past year as well. Still an average, small average trade profit. Not inclusive of slippage in commission. 68.31%. Uh, 1340 drawdown uh, natural gas it works there uh, small average trade profit here is the equity curve for natural gas uh, e-mini mid cap it's working there very very well also um, soybean mill it works um, and then you get gold and but the three a uh, little bit choppier equity curve small average trade profit for gold uh, the three best markets I like this on are soybeans, uh, crude oil, and E-mini Russell, E-mini Mid-Cap. Um, it's a good strategy. I want to show you, um, we're going to have a webinar on Wednesday at 3.15, 4.15 Eastern Time, 3.15 Central, right after the market closes. Um, I'm going to show you the top four markets for crude oil. Here are the four strategies for crude oil. We show you the uh, Cobra crude. It got stopped out on Friday while EVP2... Uh, got short, uh, nice profit on that. Uh, SR counter trend, one we've talked about recently with really nice performance in our EVP Universal. Uh, there's some discretionary ways you can also trade. Uh, crude oil has worked well using some of these support and resistance from SR counter trend. You see, uh, there was a nice support here on Thursday. On Friday, we got a stochastic divergence that called the top and the bottom. The bottom for a short term, it did come back later to make. Uh, lows around 240 after the pit, close, the pit closes at 230 Eastern. And so you see these nice stochastic divergence readings. You see a nice stochastic divergence reading there, but no signal. Uh, it's a very, this is a selective system, uh, the uh, SR counter trend, but you still see these stochastic divergence reading up near the support and resistance levels. It's hard to program this, uh, hard to develop a strategy out of this. You can look at this on different time frames and see this. It uh, doesn't always work. This one would have only worked for a scalp, and then the market rolled over, um, and then it, it blew through the support. And so here is one with the resistance pretty high above the resistance levels. And then some recent trades back in September. Uh, got short, stopped out, got short again, break even stop. This is a strong market above support. And then uh, two days earlier than that, nice short trade. Um, you see that here. Um, another, another short scenario there. Uh, some long scenarios that did not work, and then stochastic divergence is up here. And so you see SR counter trend with stochastic divergence indicators. Uh, if you want to do discretionary trading, you also have a system there. And an EVP universal, the strategy we just talked about. Um, and so let's look at, well, I'm going to go over these strategies on uh, Wednesday at the webinar, show you how you can trade them all in one account. You can do this, you can uh, execute the strategies all in one account. Um, as you don't have to have the strategies in the same account. And um, we're going to look at this universal system as, as well in the uh, soybeans. So uh, you can sign up. We're going to hyperlink you to this page. Uh, managing, uh, let's see, w trading crude oil. It's this basic strategy. I'm going to hyperlink you to that after the video. You can sign up and be there after the market closes on Wednesday.